Hi everyone, my name is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I am Tina. I am a wife and um, mum to three lovely kids and I'm on a massive weight loss journey and I've recently had weight loss surgery. So I'm just finished week two post-op. So stay tuned to find out how it went. everyone welcome back so like I said this is week two post-op of my gastric sleeve operation so um, this is officially Friday in the evening the kids have gone to bed so I was officially two weeks post-op yesterday um, but it's gone really well so that was the last week of the milk diet um, but yeah it's gone well um, I've done six weeks of the milk diet now how crazy is that six weeks of liquids <sighs> man but it's okay I got through it so four weeks of that was pre-op um, the last two weeks have been post-op um, and I did add, manage to add in some more li liquidy soups and things so it did make it a little bit more a little bit different so that was good um, but yeah it's gone really well um, I'm now officially on the puree stage Ooh, so yeah it was a little bit mm, about starting this stage it's a bit of a weird stage if I'm honest it's a bit it's like a baby food consistency basically so it's not really very appetizing um, but so far it's been okay so um, I've had mash and cheese and beans um, so I had um, earlier which was really nice so I blended the beans though and it made like a bit of a beanie sauce it's quite nice actually um, a bit weird <laughs> I didn't think I'd like it but yeah it was actually quite nice um, and that's the thing as well blending things separately because otherwise it can just all mush together and be a bit of a like brown mushy look and not look very nice um, so uh, hummus as well I made some homemade hummus um, from chickpeas and stuff which was really good it was nice all the flavors and stuff oh it was lovely um, and then like thicker yogurts as well so yeah it's going okay it's going going pretty well I mean I'm only two days in so we shall see what the rest of the week holds um, you know on this this start well this this stage um, but I'm only on it for a week so that's good so I'm on puree for a week and then this time next week I'll be on soft so um which is what you can like stuffed is like um what something that you can like mash with a fork type thing so um so yeah so that'll be okay that'll be okay looking forward to that looking forward to it um and my bowels thank you for asking everybody I'm sure you wanted to know how are now okay so it's now all okay which is really good um yeah basically um I did for a little while though um earlier this week go for a stage of like being a little bit bunged up and then a little bit loose um but it seems to have like leveled out now and seemed to be okay but apparently it, it can play a bit of havoc with your bowels for a little while so yeah this is not unheard of um but yeah everything is okay in that area at the minute let's see how that how long that lasts um but yeah seems to be okay for now uh, and um i got my medical bracelet so i got this in the post oh i don't know if it'll i don't know if my camera's good enough to um focus on look you can see the bruise on my hand from my um, cannula still there uh, sort of focusing <clears throat> but anyway I'll tell you what it says um, so this is my medical bracelet and it says gastric sleeve on there no blind NG tube and no NSAIDs so no blind NG tube um, is because my stomach is obviously structurally different now so um it's not good for them to put an ng tube in um without a x-ray or a scan um to make sure they know where they're putting it um because they could be putting it in the wrong place or they could cause damage so 
Um, so yeah, that's one of the reasons. Um, and also no NSAIDs, so, uh, which is no non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Um, so that's things like an, um, ibuprofen, that kind of thing. Um, so I can't just take that readily myself from you know over the counter or from the shops or whatever. Um, so it's something that has to be monitored um, in hospital mainly, I believe. Um, they can give you other drugs to protect your stomach um, if you do have to take them, um, but they are quite cautious about people with gastric sleeves or bypasses um, taking any NSAIDs. So that's uh, no NSAIDs. Um, so if there was, touch wood, there never will be, but um, if there was, you know, um, I was unconscious or unresponsive for whatever reason in an emergency situation, then the medics would know, you know, um, what I've got, how I'm structurally different um, inside. Um, and also I've got it on my phone as well. So um, there's a medical alert bit on there. So um, definitely make sure you fill that out because I do believe the medical professionals do look at that as well. <coughs> oh, sorry, I've got a frog in my throat. This is something, drinking, trying to drink as much fluids as possible. Ah, so yeah, excuse me. Um, is really important and it's something that I need to do better with. I do need to drink more fluids, so that is something. Um, what else has happened this week? Um, yes supplements okay so i mentioned last time that my gp is prescribing some of my supplements so my b12 injection they are prescribing that and they're happy to prescribe um the lansaprazole as well for my reflux issues um but then i'm on obviously do my bloods regular and stuff like that which is really important by the way um but they're not going to prescribe um, the rest of my supplements. Um, this is something that, in the UK anyway, um, is kind of a postcode lottery. You know, depending on where you are um, and maybe what surgery you're at, I don't know, um, there's different rules and different GPs will prescribe and some will, some won't. So, you know, mine are of the stance that they won't do that. So, okay, that's fine not a problem um so i went and purchased them over the counter however some of them are disgusting yeah and i can't take them in a tablet form at the minute um so it's got to be chewable or effervescent ones those like dissolvable ones um in water mm -mm -mm some of them are horrible not only that some of them are just really difficult to take the quantities in that you need to take in a day as well so you know lifelong nutrition supplement nutrition is you know something that is just part and parcel of bariatric life um so it is something that I've looked into um, been recommended by some other people um, not affiliated with this company or in any way at all um, but I have purchased a little taster and um, box from Baracol um, and yeah I've tried a few of them they seem really good I've got some more to try so um, you know I'll let you know how that goes next week um, and I'll let you know which ones I decide on purchasing if I decide to purchase them um, but I think I will they do seem really good so yeah I think I will go for them um, and a plus side to that is I won't need my b12 injection every three months as well um, with Baracol because it's all included in those vitamins daily um, so that means then my GP won't have to give me that injection every three months which is kind of cool as well I just need to do my blood so my lens up result um, so now for the juicy bit the bit you've been waiting for did I weigh in again of course I did so I weighed in again uh, yesterday and I wasn't expecting much because mother nature had come calling and you know that time of the month always oh, things are a bit more meh um, I'm always a bit heavier that time of the month um, and I'd lost a lot last week as well which I really wasn't expecting with all the swelling and stuff so I was, wasn't expecting much but I lost five pound this week how incredible is that so five pound plus obviously what I've lost last week so since surgery I've lost 16 pounds which is absolutely crazy um, so yeah I mean that's over a stone <gasps> it's mental isn't it 
Um, so yeah, really quite quite shocked at that in two weeks. Um, but I have since the start of my health journey. So since I really started to get on this and knew I was you know going towards this bariatric surgery this is what the ultimate goal was um, I, I have lost um, in nearly a year just under a year so since August last year um, 71 pounds which is wow I'm proud of that I am gonna blow my own trumpet here I am proud of that 71 pounds so yeah yeah um, and I am starting to notice some saggy skin. You won't be able to see obviously on here, but um, I am starting to notice a little bit of saggy skin and things, but it's inevitable. I knew it would happen. It's just part and parcel of losing this amount of weight. You know, no matter how you do it, whether you do it with, you know, um, bariatric surgery in conjunction with a healthy lifestyle or whatever, you are still going to get this saggy skin. It is just part and parcel of it, I'm afraid. Um, so I do know that there is going to be, you know, in the future, maybe a couple of years down the line, we're looking at, um, you know, skin removal surgery and that that's going to be a big journey, but I'll take you all on that journey with me when I get to it. Um, but yeah, for now, I know there's going to be a lot more saggy skin to come. Um, but as I said, it's all just part and parcel of it. And it's a part of me to be healthy for me, for my family for my husband, for my kids, for me, but for me, for my life, you know, so um, this is just all part of the journey. But yeah, so make sure that you like, subscribe, ring that bell so you can get the uh, the notification for the next video. It's going to come out next week um, where I'll be starting the soft food stage and you'll get to know exactly how I um, finished up on the puree stage and how that all went. Um, it's going well so far, like I said, so let's see how the rest of the week goes. We're only a couple of days in um, and then it will be on to soft food and see how I get on. So I shall take care. Take care. Bye for now. Speak to you soon.